Hello, today's video is about growing dragon fruit. Of course, you may think it's very easy to grow, but this is the UK, where temperatures plunge to zero. Look at those leaves. The leaves are fine, they're growing absolutely in the ground. This is not the UK, where temperatures plunge zero and below in autumn and winter so can you grow dragon fruit in the uk maybe you can try let's look at dragon fruit the attractive thing about dragon fruit is they are night flowering and beautiful flowers if you ever visit the tropics had the pleasure of seeing these plants in bloom you will be amazed. Some of it is very fragrant and therefore you can enjoy not only the beauty of the flowers but also the scent. Ah, look at this. This is from Cherry Ann in Trinidad. Look at these lovely flowers. I wish I could grow them like that. I'll be honest with you, I've grown them for years. But to get them to flower is very difficult. So after the flower will come the fruit. Have I ever got there? No. These fruits are wonderful. This you can pick up in your regular supermarket. Simply buy, buying them, cutting them up, eating them, even using the seed. To grow young plants. Okay, how do I go about it? This is it. These are some of my cuttings. I usually cut them, let them dry out for a few days, and once I'm sure the cord is dried out, I am ready to grow. And if you look at that, after about two or three weeks, these plants are ready to grow. But don't be fooled. In a little pot, about eight inches, they are fine. The difficulty with growing dragon fruit, pitaya, is they tend to be very unruly as they grow. It's important to understand that at one foot plus, they're fine in an ordinary little pot. But if you choose to grow them seriously, you have to go much higher than this. Today I've come up with a totally different plan. I will make sure, choose a much larger pot, and also start out with Yes, you're right. A brick. Why is this brick in my larger pot? It will keep it firm, right? And I can use the size of the pot to put my young plant. So, brick or stone are sometimes quite useful. If you look at the side of the pot, there are already two rooted plants ready to take off. It's not necessary to root them before, but I've done it this way because it makes it much easier for it to start off. Stones, little stones are all right and useful when you cover the soil and it would keep to stabilize the initial plant when you get them all ready and awaited. So that's the first plant I've put in. Well, it's not in it as yet, it's at the top. The idea is two major rooted plants will go in and then I will be ready to start my is it necessary to grow them and root them before? 
no, you can't easily use your regular coffee, which you later put in the pot. But the reason why I do this is because in my UK climate, it's not very easy to root them with the weather being uh, not so good. So if you root them early indoors, then you can place them inside the pot. There's one in there. Notice it's probably about one foot, 18 inches tall. At that height, it's a good way to start the trick of getting them to grow. Now remember, no matter what you do, these plants are very tough-minded. There are spines which you have to be very careful with. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry. Once you get them there, you can put your soil, which is a combination of tissue, soil, with a few bits of perlite, etc. They are not very choosy as ordinary cactus because they are tropical and therefore you see. Notice the wire frame. That is very important. The wire around the stick is to keep it firm. No matter what you say, it's important to understand. You need some kind of um, stick to keep it firm. As it grows, it will become very powerful and generally speaking, you would find them very difficult to manage. If you look at this photo, it will show you how important it is to stake these plants. Without the stake, you wouldn't be able to keep them upright and therefore encourage the flowers and the fruit. Firmly staked, these plants are ready to grow, but they have a limitation. UK climate with a very cold winter is not just seen. They must be kept above 10 degrees centigrade. Any moving down to even 5 degrees centigrade will cause rot. And then you will have to start all over again the next season. Thank you, Winston in London.